Well, shortly after the president's speech last Tuesday night, Benny Johnson at IJ Review caused an uproar online when he noted that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Keith Ellison, two Democratic members of Congress, did not stand to applaud the widow of slain Navy SEAL Ryan Owens. The claim was rapidly debunked by the debunkers, Snopes, PolitiFact, and other members of the fact-checking cartel, who all called it a lie. The only problem, it was not a lie. It was true. Wasserman Schultz and Ellison really did sit through the entire two-minute ovation, and video evidence proves it. The question is, who is fact-checking the fact-checkers? Benny Johnson is, tonight anyway, and he joins us now. Benny, great to see you. Hey, Tucker. So it, well, did I oversimplify? So you, you were there, and there are pictures of you in the gallery yes. watching this, and you tweet out, boy, they're not standing for the ovation, and they denounced you as a liar when, in fact, you told the truth. Am I missing something? Well, I was in the gallery. I was wearing the exact same pocket square that yes, I got on here. Recognize, <laughs> yes, recognizable. Thank you very much. Not the same bow tie. Uh, and sure enough, they did not stand. Not for the second ovation. Right. Now, there's a first ovation where Donald Trump says, this is the widow of an right. American hero. And, every, and everyone stood, really, the whole, the whole of the auditorium stood mm -hmm. for that. Ovation, but the really emotional one, the one that's on screen right now right. with the crying widow, the one where he said, uh, Your husband etched on the face of eternity, yes. his legacy. They did not stand. They, they, they sat uh, along with a number of other members on the Democratic caucus. And so you noted this, and immediately Snopes, which is really revered as an oracle, I think, by a lot of people, uh, jumped in to call you a liar. Did they call you first? Uh, no. no. No, no, wait, hold on. They're the fact checkers, so by definition, they're going to track down the facts. They must have called you or emailed you anyway. No call, no email. At all? No. Uh, there was a lot of reporters who did call, who did write. Yep. There is nuance here. There's an important nuance, and that's that you cannot take photos in the press gallery right. as a member of the press. You're not allowed to take photographs, so you have to report your words. You have to report what you're seeing. Uh, out in Congress, and so I couldn't have, I didn't have photographic evidence at the time to show that what I was saying was true. But the nuance is not lost on the video that the White House released, which exactly. shows them clearly sitting down. I, I even put a little circle around them to show that. But no, the firestorm that was created right. about the event uh, really just is based on someone saying those facts are, I believe, inconvenient. We refuse to accept them. And uh, we're going to call it fake news. It wait, was not fake news. Wait, but meanwhile, those holy men at Snopes, those gods of objectivity to whom, <laughs> you know, every New York Times reader looks for the real truth. Yeah. They were continuing to call you a liar until this video came out? Well, they've retracted. They have the, now. They've retracted the piece now. They've scrubbed my tweets from it. They have uh, issued an apology. And at the bottom of the piece now, it says, uh, we, you know, Betty Johnson's tweets have been removed because his reporting was factual. But that took four days. What I find so interesting is that, um, by the way, there were thousands of people there watching this and millions watching at home who could have verified it also. But Snopes is not a small thing. I mean, Snopes is the subject of all this adulation on the left, as you know, but it's also, I think it's one of the fact checkers for Facebook, correct? Uh, them and PolitiFact, yes. Yeah, and they both got it wrong. Does that make they you more confident? Well, you can always be confident in your facts. The facts are true. Right. Uh, and if you are armed with the truth, you've got to be able to bring receipts in this business. Yeah. You've got to be able to show up and show that you were in the room. And really, that's the, that's the hard part about being a reporter, is yeah. having people in the room describing what's really happening, the story that's not going to be seen by all the TV cameras. And I thought that since uh, Keith Ellison and Debbie Wasserman Schultz are roundly seen as the future of the Democratic Party, yeah. uh, if you're not standing for the widow of a slain American hero, then that's a lot bigger than any hate that I get online. That's a lot bigger than your party politics, right? It's a lot bigger than what the DNC is going through right now. You should be able to stand uh, for the slain widow, the, the widow of a slain American hero. Sure. I mean, this is a Congress that like, passed the Michael Jackson Appreciation Act or whatever. So, like, yeah, no, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Benny Johnson, really interesting TikTok on this. You wrote today for Eyes Your Review, which is totally worth reading. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you, Tucker.